Hey everyone, welcome to the channel for another Escape from Tarkov video. This video is the first in a series where I will be taking a look at each map in the game and giving a few tips on how you can extract some profit when you head out on a raid there. Certain maps are by nature and I believe by design much easier to make significant profits on while playing. However, if you know where to look and are willing to navigate some dangerous areas, there's plenty of ways to get your money's worth out of a raid. For this first video in the series, I want to talk about Customs, a map that you'll likely be spending a lot of time on since a large portion of the quests take place on this map. Customs is, in my opinion, one of the more challenging maps to make reliable profits on. That being said, Playing customs is kind of like putting it all on black at the roulette table. When you do get a win, you can seriously hit it big and extract with items that are worth their weight in gold, like cases and key tools. Just like that roulette analogy, it's a seriously risky proposition. Customs is a map full of choke points, high traffic areas, sneaky angles, and a very dangerous scab boss that controls key areas of the map. So in this video, I'm going to show you some spots to check for loot and talk about what you can find there. One of the main locations on Customs is the Dorms, once a residence for workers at the factory that now sits abandoned and waiting to be looted. These Dorms are probably the most concentrated source of loot in the map, but they're also one of the single most dangerous places that you can go in the entire game, not just on Customs. Because the Dorms are pretty central to the map, most players can reach them in roughly the same amount of time, and there's a lot of quests that take place there, so players will flock here pretty frequently. On top of this, the Scav boss on this map has a chance to spawn in the dorms area, and it's a pretty tough fight when you find them all here. The dorms area consists of two main buildings separated by a courtyard, which are easily distinguished by their difference in height, and I'll just call them the two-story and the three-story. There is a ton of locked doors in the dorms that you can open if you have the right keys, and if you looted all of them, I'm sure you could get quite a bit of loot. But in my opinion, it's better to just check the rooms that have safes, and check the marked room in the three-story, and then get out so that you don't run into players as they roll up on the dorms. That being said, here's a quick breakdown of some of the keys for the dorms buildings that can make the trip worth the risk. I'll briefly mention where you can find them, and you can look up each of these keys on the Escape from Tarkov wiki, which I'll link in the description. Starting with the three-story building, on the first floor there really isn't many locked rooms worth looting, but you can check the guard post for a key spawn. On the second floor, you can start with room 204, which contains a weapons locker with a safe in the top and a chance for rare barter items. This key can be found in jackets, filing cabinets, and on dead scavs. Next on the second floor is room 214, which contains a safe, possible rare ammo spawns, and a dorm room 203 key which is needed for a quest. This key can be found in a small garage on the warehouse side of customs on a wooden pallet, as well as in jackets and cabinets and on dead scavs. On the third floor of this building is the main attraction of the whole dorms area, the marked room, a creepy little spot at the end of the hallway which has a chance to spawn extremely valuable loot. This key can be found somewhat commonly in jackets, as well as on dead scavs. As of the 0.12 patch, this key only has 25 uses, but this room can spawn amazing loot. Personally, I have looted things like key tools, money cases, ammo cases, weapons cases, docks cases, rare weapons, and tons of different barter items. Sometimes you'll find nothing in this room, and sometimes you'll find close to a million rubles in loot. It's really a dice roll that's worth taking if you have this key in my opinion. Moving on to the two-story dorms, there's two more keys you can use to get access to safes for a chance to loot bitcoins and GP coins. On the first floor, the dorm room guard desk is right next to the front door, and it's a pretty good key to have. Here you can find a large weapon crate, a weapon rack, and two ammo boxes. This key can be found in the first floor of these dorms in the showers room, held by a dead scav. Also on the first floor, the dorm room 105 key will get you access to a safe and some loose loot spread around the room, and this key can be found in cabinets and on dead scavs. To get to this room, you have to go in through the side door because you can't access it from the main floor. Finally, the dorm room 114 key will get you access to a safe, a computer, a medical bag, and some loose items spread around the room. You also need this key for a quest, so it's a good one to have, and it can be found in the trunk of a blue car near the factory checkpoint. Like I said, there are quite a few other keys for the dorms, but in my opinion, it's more effective to simply check all the safes and hit the marked room for the chance at some crazy drops, and then get out of there to avoid being caught off guard.
Customs is home to the first scav boss that was added to Escape from Tarkov, Rashala, the Dealmaker, and his goons, the Zavodsky brothers. There is five of them in total, the main boss and his four guards. Rashala is unarmored, but his guards spawn with armor and helmets, and they all carry modified AKs. The guards can spawn with very nice armor, like 6B43 vests, Reddit M armor, Alton helmets, and tons of other options, so they can be pretty tough to take down. These guys mean serious business, and they can be very difficult to fight if they catch you by surprise, or if you leave yourself exposed while fighting them. However, if you can take them down, you can make some serious profit by either selling their gear, or just keeping it and using them as basically free loadouts. They have two possible spawn points on the map the dorms, or the abandoned gas station near the factory checkpoint. Fighting them in the dorms is generally more difficult because you're forced to take them on at close range. These guys will camp doorways, throw tons of grenades to flush you out, and then push you aggressively when you're hurt, so it takes some finesse to drop them in the dorms. In my experience, it's best to peek all three floors from the outside stairwell so you can locate where they are and try and kill as many as you can before you even step inside the building. If it gets too crazy, just run down the stairs and around the building to the other entrance to break their line of sight. You'll probably have to go inside to kill the final enemies, but just check all of your corners and take it slow, and it should work out for you. In their second spawn point, at the abandoned gas station, Rashala and his goons are much easier to kill if you have the right weapons, but they're still dangerous nonetheless. My recommendation is to post up along the ridge on the hill which overlooks the gas station, use the rocks as cover, and try to spot them before they see you. With a scoped weapon and some well-placed shots, you can drop a few of them before they have a chance to fight back, which makes your life easier. Once the fighting starts, Rashala will try and take cover in the gas station most times, but his guards will work to control the exterior and they will suppress you and then try and send a flanking party up behind you on the ridge. Just keep cover, listen for them walking through the trees, and try and kill them before they can leave the fence line of the compound. Unless you get lucky and drop him early in the fight, you're generally going to have to go and flush Rashala out of hiding regardless of what spawn he has. But after you drop the whole crew, you have tons of loot to grab. The weapons and armor alone are worth quite a lot, and in Rashala's pockets you can find labs cards and bitcoins, as well as his golden TT pistol which trades for a Tactech plate carrier. It's definitely not an easy fight, but if you can drop the whole squad, there is a ton of loot and it's well worth the effort. Hidden caches are a new addition in the 0.12 patch and can be found on most maps scattered all over the place in really sneaky little spots. These caches have a really random loot table, but they can drop fairly valuable items, and because they're somewhat hidden, they're usually pretty safe to loot. At the very least, they can be good to check as you head to extraction to add some extra profits to your raids. While I doubt I have found all of the hidden stashes on customs, I'm going to play some clips showing the locations of several easy to locate stashes, and I'll link a map showing even more down in the description.
I'm also going to go ahead and show a few other nice spots that you can loot, which have a chance for some pretty valuable drops. First up is the Red Warehouse, which has an office that can be opened with the Customs Office key and contains a few computers that you can check for flash drives. You'll also need this key for some quests, so it's a good one to have. Next is the Old Gas Station, which is sometimes usable as an extract, but the highlight here is the desk inside the small building. I have found some really random, but really valuable items here, like docks cases, fast MT helmets, striker helmets, comm tacks, and rare weapons like the 416 on the couch. Finally, this blue van inside the chain link fence near the boilers has two computers that in my experience have spawned quite a few secure flash drives, which is a very valuable item. Well those are my three tips for making money on customs, which like I said is one of the hardest maps to make reliable profit on. It's dangerous, tricky to navigate, and the loot is very luck based, but the payout can sometimes be huge. I hope this video helps you to add some value to your raids on the map while you're out there doing the many, many quests that bring you to customs. If you found it helpful, let me know in the comments what maps you'd like to see next for this series. I'll be streaming more of my progress in the 0.12 patch on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jdogthewise, and it'd be great to have you drop by, so I'll leave a link for that down in the description. Thanks for checking out the video. As always, feel free to leave any comments, corrections, or suggestions down below, and until next time, stay safe in Tarkov City.